Hello YouTubers. So today I want to talk to you about um, saving data to uh, SQL Server using C Sharp. And uh, we're going to do this in a very easy way. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my uh, SQL Server Management Studio here. I'm going to connect to a database that I have already created, uh, YouTube database. And I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to create a uh, a table in here uh, that we're going to be using in this tutorial. So first thing, use your database name. Go, and I'm going to create table, and I'm going to call table contacts. And then the first thing I'm going to do is add a primary key to it. And uh, we're just going to add first name, make it a varchar, I don't know, 100. Probably too long of a name, but that's okay. Just for testing purposes, anyways. Um, another varchar, 100. Close it. I'm going to run. And there's an error. Even though the parenthesis, run. Come in, complete. So if I go in here and I select all from table contacts then I just I see the structure of my table but I don't see any data because I don't have any at all so I'm just gonna comment the stuff out and because we're gonna be coming back here to take a look at this uh, you go ahead and minimize this I'm gonna start my uh, Visual Studio here and uh, I'm just gonna create a new project so file new project uh, we're gonna be working with Windows Forms uh, and click OK okay so we're going to be adding this data using um, two text boxes, one button, and then we're going to use the uh, SQL connection string, and also we're going to use, use the uh, SQL database adapter. Um, and that's pretty much it. Well, we might use the data set just to display the data later. So let's go ahead and then uh, add two text boxes to our form and one button. And uh, I'm not going to be very neat about this. because, you know, we have little time. So just remember that the top box will be our text um, first name, and then the bottom box will be our text last name. Okay, so we have that in there. I'm gonna double click the uh, add record, so then now I'm inside the uh, uh, click event. And then, uh, but before that, actually, I have to enter system.data.sql client so then we don't have to fully qualify everything. It'll be too painful. Um, if you don't know what this is, let me just show you really quick. So let's say now that I have added that, I can just call SQL connection string. And then my class shows up like that. If I don't have this, if I comment that out, thinking I'm in SQL here. If I comment that out, then I can't use SQL connection. C doesn't it doesn't come up anymore. I would have to use system.data.sql client SQL connection. I mean that's kind of that's kind of painful isn't it? So we don't want to be doing that. Okay so instead of doing all this we just enter this at the top which is already there actually. Sorry, it's a little bit late for me. And now we can remove all this. And so we're gonna use our class, SQL Connection class. This is gonna be our object name, CS. And then we're gonna instantiate that uh, class uh, by entering. So the data provider will be my computer name. Semicolon, and then the initial database equals YouTube for me. You can just use, you know, your database name. And then uh, what else we need? Uh, integrated security equals true for me. Um, if you need to enter username and password, just go ahead and do that if that's how you have to configure your login connection. So now we have our uh, connection string uh, defined in there. We can actually test this really quick. 
let's just open and then let's display the show cs dot state dot string and then cs cs dot close and then let's just fire this up really quick just to see if our connection string is fine we add record and we have a problem data provider is not correct uh, actually yeah it's not data provider it's data source there you go let's try that again click initial database not correct initial catalog how do we try that initial catalog and now the connection is open so make sure you get your keywords correct so now that we have our SQL connection uh, object up and running which is um, which is the pipe of communication between your uh, presentation layer and the database. Now we're going to use a SQL uh, data adapter, which is the object that actually sends, uh, sends data from the form to the pipe. Uh, and we're just going to instantiate this. And uh, now we're going to actually add a command to it. So data adapter dot insert, because we're going to be inserting we're going to be inserting data. We have to define the command equals new SQL command, and my command is insert into table contacts. Is that what we call table contacts? Yeah. Let me just copy this. Insert into table contacts, and then I'm going to say that I want to insert the values at first name and then at. We haven't created those parameters, but we're going to create them right now. Last name. Okay. So we have those, comma, it's going to ask me what connection string to use. And uh, so notice that if you know a little bit of SQL, if you don't know a little, if you don't know SQL, I mean, you might have to take a look at the, the, the syntax and how to use SQL. Uh, but this is very straightforward. This is our first parameter and this is the second parameter. This is going to go into the first column name and this is going to go into the last name column. Um, now we can add the parameters. So data adapter equals insert command dot parameters dot add. And then our parameter is at first name. We're going to close it. It's going to ask what type of uh, parameter is that. And then we're going to call it a varchar. Uh, we're going to close that. And now we're going to specify the value. And the value is going to be equal to whatever I put into my text box first name dot text. Okay. So see how straightforward that is? Now let's just go ahead and I'm going to be lazy here. I'm going to copy and paste that. Now I'm just going to change first name to last name. Um, there in here so now we have our two parameters um, now what we have to do is open the open the connection and now we're going to execute this parameter so data adapter insert command dot execute non query uh, you can actually put a, a return in there so then you know how many columns get affected but I'm just going to skip that right now now we can close it and then let's take a look to see what happens. So this is our entire application right here. Uh, let's go ahead and click play. And I'm just going to enter my name. Let's see. Let's add record. See what happens. Well, we didn't get any errors. Um, and the one way to verify that right now is just going to SQL. And I'm going to select command, press F5, and there and there I am. So that's my first record. And so I can say Fabio, and then I'm going to say. Lucy and then add and then go over here and now I have two records in there um, of course this is not very convenient right we're going back and forth between SQL we don't have to do that um, one thing that we could do here um, uh, we don't have any more time so it's uh, nine minutes and a half already so uh, that's it for now so stay tuned for the next tutorial thank you bye